Welcome to version 24.1 for Sage 100 Contractor. Watch this four-part video series for highlights of enhancements and changes included in the 24.1 software release. In part one of four, explore the security enhancements. Many of these enhancements came directly from customer ideas submitted through the Home and Resources tab, Submit Product Idea, and the Product Enhancement Program. There are changes throughout the software from General Ledger to Payroll to Database Administration. Get all the details here. Release announcements happen through Sage City. Log on to the Sage Knowledge Base to download your software update. In SageKB.com, locate Sage 100 Contractor, then scroll down on the page and look for the download area where you see the link to download your software. After you download the software, perform the installation. When the installation completes, open Database Administration to upgrade the data in your companies. One of the first things you may notice is new branding that reflects Sage's global vision. One of the main feature enhancements has to do with security for the payroll module. When you open Utilities, Company Security, and User List, you see an option for each user to have payroll administrator rights. Like other security setup, the option activates when you select Yes for at least one user. When you install the update, the default is that the option is not active for any users. This option is separate and controls access to different features than the company administrator. A user can be one of the admin types, both types, or neither. In Payroll, Payroll Processing, and Employees, on the General Information tab, select the box if you require payroll administrator rights to view this employee in Tasks and Reports. If you did not select Yes for a payroll admin for anyone in the user list, you do not see this box on Employees. Only payroll administrators see this box. When you make this selection, if all users are on the same licensed server, the restriction is immediate. If there is a user on a different licensed server, the change takes effect the next time they launch the program. If you are not a user with payroll administrator rights, you do not see any employees with a selection on the requires box. If you have rights, you see all employees. However, if you open the lookup list window, you see all employees with only basic information displayed. The reason for this is because you may need to add employees to other records for reference, such as a purchase order. Another example of a place where this affects is 522 Payroll Records. If you scroll through records here, you only see payroll records for the employees that do not have a box selected to require a payroll admin rights. In regards to running reports, you will not see any employees on the reports with employees who require access. In Atrix, if you were to perform state or federal filings or other forms, you must have payroll admin rights to complete this task. In Compute Payroll, Generate Direct Deposit, and Post Payroll to GL, you can only perform tasks for employees for which you have access rights. The processes do not complete for restricted employees. When it comes to Post Payroll to GL, when you post in summary, in the past, a log file was created of records and details included in a posting, saved on a server, and could be accessed by anyone who had access to the server. Now, instead of a log file, we'll create a special kind of note on the record, and when you open 1.3 and open a summarized posting, you can select Options and View Summary Payroll Posting Log. Another payroll security element is the autofill pay rates in daily payroll. In prior versions, you had the option to autofill pay rates in 522 payroll records. 
Now in Daily Payroll, select Options, Autofill Pay Rate to populate the rate even when the column is not in the grid. This allows users to enter time without seeing the rate. Another security enhancement is in Security Groups. There is a new option for GL Transaction Source Security. Like other security, the option is not active until you turn it on for a group. When you click the drop-down list in this window, you can choose which source entries the user can access from within 1.3 Journal Transactions. Anything that writes to the GL is in this list. You identify the sources for which that group should have access. For example, if the payroll group members should only access related records for ledger transactions with a source of 16, 17, or 18, select those boxes. Click OK to save and exit. Users who belong to multiple security groups have access to the source for GL sources for all groups for which they're a member. Sage recommends if you set up security for restricted employee records to payroll administrators, you might also want to have a group for which you assign access to specific payroll GL transaction sources. Let's say the payable group members should only have access to transactions with a source of 11 to 15 and 25 to 29. Select those sources to limit access to related records from within journal transactions. This type of security helps prevent users from accessing source records they shouldn't see, like payroll checks. The alternate way to assign security for sources is to click Use Menu Security. When you do this, the program reviews the current menu security setup and selects the source boxes that relate to any menu options for which this security group currently has access. If you have not limited access to menu options, the program selects all sources. This security setup only affects users when they are in 1.3 Journal Transactions and click the Go to Source button. Now we'll move to Database Administration to discuss changes there which are primarily for attachments. Let's say you need to have something as an attachment that should be private. In Database Administration, under Advanced Settings, then Advanced File Attachment Settings, you can identify settings for attachments for different areas of the software. One option is to allow users to copy attachments into the company data where all users can access or allow a link for attachments that are stored on other locations where you can restrict access and make the document private. These settings affect all users, all SQL instances, and all companies on the server. For example, for employees and payroll records, you may not want attachments to be saved in the data. Instead, you want users to save attachments as a link to the source file saved somewhere that has secured rights. However, for project management attachments, you may want to allow a copy saved to the data for everyone to access. Or you could be more strict and clear both boxes to not allow any attachments for this area. If you have questions about which menu options these settings affect, hover over the Information button. Click Save to accept the changes. When you are in a task that is restricted for attachments, such as payroll records, go to a record and click Attachments. When you click Add, the only option available here is the Link option. If you go to Project Management and Proposals, open a record, click Attachments, then Add, you only see the Copy option. For Equipment, when you open the Equipment, click Attachments, and click Add, you do not see Copy or Link options because neither access is allowed in Database Administration. The changes you make in Database Administration are live in the software as soon as you save. There is no need to exit and relaunch the software. 
Continue to part two of four to learn more about the enhancements in this release.